Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you a recipe of my family's favorite cookie. It's oatmeal coconut cranberry walnut cookie. It has a very chewy center and when you bite into it, there's tons of flavors that kind of dancing in your mouth. So I hope you will like this recipe. Here is the list of ingredients for your screenshots. They also will be listed in the description box below. So let's go over our ingredients. We're gonna need two sticks of butter, one cup of brown sugar, one cup of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, two eggs. We're gonna need two cups of each, a purpose flour, a coconut flakes, and also some rolled oats. We're gonna need two cups of dried cranberry and a cup of walnuts. Preferably in the bowl of stand-up mixer, add two sticks of softened butter and we're gonna use a paddle attachment to cream this butter. Then we're gonna add our sugars, uh, which are our granulated sugar and brown sugar. We're gonna cream those together. And then gradually we're gonna add two eggs and cream those together. Now guys, this step has to be done with electric mixer, either hand mixer or stand-up mixer because we need to get that butter really creamy. The rest of the ingredients can be mixed in by hand. But if you don't have a very strong mixer like I do, um, like this kind of a commercial mixer, um, you would probably have to mix the dry ingredients by hand because most of the mixers will not be able to handle that much weight. So when everything creamed, we're gonna add our salt and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then we're gonna stop the mixer and we're gonna add one teaspoon of baking powder directly into our flour. And then we're gonna um, add the flour to our mix and just be careful, just use a slow speed. You don't want this flour to fly everywhere in your kitchen. Um, and after that, you're gonna add your dry coconuts and I'm using the unsweetened coconut flakes. Then we're gonna add our rolled oats we're gonna give it a quick mix and then we're gonna add our chopped walnuts and dried cranberries and as you guys can see this machine is working really really hard and at this point you're gonna stop the mixer and your dough is done then you need to cover your dough with a plastic wrap and put it in the fridge for about an hour I always use an ice cream scoop to portion out the cookies and then this I believe like a medium size I think there's like a small medium and large so that one is a medium I think so just portion out your cookies on a lined um, baking sheet and then we're gonna just give them a little pattern with a fork on the top so um, they look all uniformed and then we're gonna bake him at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes and when they take him out of the oven you will see they're gonna be still soft so let them sit on um, on a countertop for about five minutes then you can transfer the cookies on the cooling rack and you can enjoy them guys this cookie is absolutely wonderful I hope you like this recipe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye.